Let's pray. Spirit of the living God, 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 Spirit of the living God. Lord, thank you for this another day. Lord, thank you for this another Resurrection Sunday. Lord, thank you for going to the cross, not staying on the cross, not staying in the tomb. But Lord, thank you that early on Sunday morning, while the dew was still on the roses, Lord, that you got up with all power in your hand. And Father God, because of your power, Lord, Lord, all of us can have a right to eternal life. Lord, we can't thank you enough for everything that you do for us, God. Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning. Lord, putting us in our right mind. Lord, thank you for keeping us all week long. Lord, thank you for still blessing us in spite of COVID-19. Oh, what a mighty good God you are. And Lord, we come to give you some honor right now. We come to give you some praise. We come to edify, glorify, magnify your holy name. For your name is above every other name. Hallelujah. This is our prayer. And all God's people shout amen, amen, amen and amen. First of all, giving honor to your esteemed pastor, amen. My brother, the F, Reverend F. Bernard Fuller. Amen. To this progressive missionary Baptist church family, to honor your pastor emeritus, the late Dr. John D. Fuller Sr. Amen. Amen. It, it is good to be in the house one more time. Amen. Y'all, I said it's good to be in the house one more time. Amen. Because I don't know about you, because I realized he didn't have to do it. But I'm so glad that he did. Amen. I, I do thank my brother for this opportunity. As he said earlier, that I pastor the greatest church in Moore County. Amen. Amen. First Missionary Baptist Church in Moore County, where we are known as the place of hope. Because when you can't find hope anywhere else, you ought to be able to find it in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The word of God today comes from the book of John. If y'all pray with me and pray for me. If Ms. Ivory pushes me, amen, I'll be out of your way, amen. 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 The book of John, chapter 20, starting at verse 11. Book of John, chapter 20, starting at, at verse 11. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying, but as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. But at this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you are looking for? Thinking that Jesus was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you had carried him away, tell me where you have put him so I can go get him. The word of God for the people. Allow me for just a little while to use this subject. He got up. What about you? He got up. What about you? My brothers and my sisters, in this life, we will face some problems, some issues, some situations, some struggles that we simply won't see coming. Are there any witnesses that can testify that it's not easy getting up after you've been knocked down? But the Bible proclaims that in this life, you will have trials and tribulations. But be of good cheer because I have already overcome the world. Amen. You've been knocked down by folk that you seem to trust. People you thought that loved you were only there to simply knock you down. Uh, you've been lied on by so-called loved ones and friends only to be knocked down. You've heard some bad news from the doctor and it seemed to knock your spirit down. Uh, you've lost some loved ones along the way. 
and it seemed to knock you down. But the good thing is that even though we've been knocked down in our lives, the good news is that we have a God on our side, that each time we fall, God was right there to lift us back up. Well, my brothers and my sisters, as we look at the text this morning, we see that Jesus has been knocked down. Y'all do know Jesus, yes, don't yes. you? Jesus has laid his life down. Now, the Bible tells us Jesus became our sacrifice. He took our place to save us from the penalty of sin. Yes. And, excuse me. From the penalty of sin and give us the right to eternal life. But the good news about the story is that, that by the time Jesus has hung on the cross, by this time they have nailed his hands, they have nailed his feet. By this time they have placed a crown of thorns upon his head. By this time Jesus has bled there on the cross at Calvary. By this time Jesus has suffered. By this time they have stuck him with spears in his side. By this time, Jesus has laid his head back and gave up the ghost, crying out, Father, Father, I commit my spirit unto you. By this time, they had taken him off the cross and placed him in the grave. Uh, to, to Jesus' enemies, they thought, now he's out. Now he's down. We've got him just where we want him. But, oh, y'all, the devil is a liar. Yeah, yeah. Church, I said the devil is a liar. Right. Because I don't care what your situation is. I don't care what you're going through. Because you can get up after you've been knocked down. You can't can get up after you've been walked over. You can't get up after you've been talked about. Scandalized, lied on. I wish I had some witness in this place. That know you've been knocked down. But you got up with a praise in your heart. You got up worshiping God. You got up letting somebody know that the God I serve, mm -hmm. he is alive and well. Yeah. Because it's not easy getting up after you've been knocked down. But my brother must just, you can get up. Because you've been knocked down physically. Uh, you've been knocked down emotionally. Oh, yeah. You've been knocked down mm -hmm. spiritually. But you don't have to stay down where you are. My first point is this. Don't you know that your situation doesn't define the person that you are? Because see, the last time they saw Jesus, Jesus had been whipped. The last time they saw Jesus, Jesus' face had been marred. You couldn't really uh, tell that this was Jesus because he had blood streaming down. He had thorns on his head. He had wounds in his feet and wounds in his hands as well as, as on his side. Mm -hmm. That was the last picture that they had of Jesus. Yeah. Because Jesus didn't look like what he'd been through. All right. Because if the record was called today, that's our testimony too. That if folk really knew the hell, the trauma, the, the turmoil that we've been through, right. that if folks that they knew the mess that we've had in our lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I'm so glad today right. that despite being lied on, talked about, yeah. my name scandalized. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm so glad that I don't look like what I've been through. All right. uh, because even though it was bad, even though, because even though it was bad, it was not the end. Jesus went through a whole lot, and, and all of us have the have had some bad moments in our lives. Mm -hmm. Because just because it's bad doesn't mean that it's the end. Right. Stop allowing the devil to tell you to give up. Stop allowing the devil to tell you to turn around and turn back. Mm -hmm. Because it may have been bad. Uh, because it may have been dreadful. But you must understand that what it may look like, that when it may look like the end, mm -hmm. to man, y'all, it's simply not the end for God. Uh, the enemy thought that they had Jesus because yeah. it was rough, because it was bad. 
but no cross, no crown. I'm glad today because it seemed like Jesus had a bad day. Yes, it seemed like Jesus was down for the count. One day went by. Two went by. Three went by. They didn't have to count the ten, Sister Iris, because they got up after three days. And y'all, I'm glad about it. We must consider that bad days become good days. When Jesus shows up. I yeah. uh, see Mary went to the tomb. It was a bad day. When she looked in and Jesus wasn't there. Y'all, it was a bad day. When the man and the angels could not tell her where Jesus' body was. But all they said was, he is not here. But he has risen. But Jesus showed up. Spoke to Mary and changed her whole day. Is there anybody that's been down in your life? But Jesus showed up yes. right in the nick of time. Hallelujah. Not only did he show up, but he spoke a word to you. Mm -hmm. He encouraged your soul. He brightened your heart. Gave you your joy back. Oh, I'm glad today yes. that when Jesus shows up, Y'all, everything changes. David said, this is the day that the Lord had made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. No matter how bad the day may be. Y'all, it's a good day to be glad. Because it might be cloudy outside, but we can be glad. Yes, it might be a storm in your life, but we can be glad. Your day might look bad. But don't fret because God is working out his plan. Uh, when he died on Calvary, y'all, it looked like that it was a bad day. But God was working out his plan. Yes, the tears may flow. The burdens seem heavy. But just know God is. God is. God is working out his plan in your life. Uh, when Mary got to the tomb, they were there expecting to have another bad day. They didn't know God had taken what was supposed to be a bad day and had turned that thing around for the good. Because early Sunday morning, God took the sting out of death. I said early Sunday morning, God removed victory from the grave. I said early Sunday morning, he rose from the grave with all power in his hand. Uh, because one day he was in the grave, uh, but the next day he was alive and well. Well, well. One day he was done, but the next day he was walking around. What a difference a day makes. Y'all, I'm so glad because of the God on my side. You can knock me down. But I'll get back up. You can talk about me. But I'll get back up. You can curse me out. But I'll get back up. But that same power that God had. That he gave Jesus to get out of the grave. How many know today that you got that same power? You got that power down in, on the inside of you. You've got power on your tongue. That you speak the word of the almighty God. Yes. That I may be down, but I'll get up. Tell your enemies, I'm getting back up. Tell your frenemies, I'm getting back up. Tell your problems, I'm getting back up. Tell your haters that I may have been down, but I rise. I rise. I rise. Yes, I rise. Amen.